Today, I thought we'd discuss something a little different, the pros and cons of being a dictator. Now, I know what you're thinking, Caesar. Surely it's all pros, right? Well, let me enlighten you. First, the pros. Power, respect, the ability to shape the world in your image. These are the obvious ones. There's nothing quite like the feeling of an entire legion saluting you in unison. And let's not forget the fashion. Where else could I wear this stylish skirt and laurel wreath without anyone daring to laugh? But it's not all sunshine and rainbows in the wasteland. There are cons, too. For instance, the constant threat of assassination. You wouldn't believe how many times I've had to check my salad for nightshade. And then there's the lack of privacy. Try taking a peaceful stroll around the fort without a Praetorian guard shadowing your every step. And let's not forget the paperwork. Yes, even in the post-apocalyptic wasteland, bureaucracy persists. You'd think with a title like Dictator for Life, I could escape the administrative duties, but no. Every day it's Caesar, we need you to sign off on these slave rations, or Caesar, can you approve this new torture method? But perhaps the biggest con is the lack of good conversation. It's all yes, Caesar. No, Caesar. Of course, Caesar. Just once I'd like someone to disagree with me. Well, not really. They'd probably end up on a cross. But you get the idea.